For farmers and municipal water providers, the turbine water pump is a workhorse. It can pump thousands of gallons of water out of the ground every minute. They start by making diffuser bowls using urn-shaped castings. One turbine pump could have up to 30 diffuser bowls. The bowls hold the pump's spinning impellers. Computerized tools refine their shape so the bowls fit neatly in the pump column. Another set of tools carve the bronze impellers. They fine-tune the casing so that the impellers will fit into the diffuser bowls. Here's a look at both sides of the finished impellers. An uneven impeller will vibrate when spinning. A technician uses this machine to check for imbalances. When sensors locate the problem, he sands down the metal in that area. This balances the impeller. Next, a machine carves the top attachment ring of the discharge head. The discharge head shields the motor from water. It also changes the water flow from vertical to horizontal. Next, a machine carves the outflow flange and drills holes for attaching a gasket. An employee paints the part blue. The paint protects the metal against rust. He also highlights the embossed company name with bright red paint. Here are the machine parts before and after painting. Next, they make the pump shaft pipes. Tools work on both ends of the pipe simultaneously to refine the inner diameter. Then they carve threads into them. They clean the pipes, then roll them into the holding area. Next, computerized tools cut threads into the bronze bearings. These threads will interconnect with the ones on the shaft pipes. A worker screws the completed bearings into the ends of the shaft pipes. Then he screws the pipes together in a loose pre-assembly. He brushes lubricant onto the exposed section of the bearings. He links four pipes to create one 20-foot pipe. He sets the long pipe in a cradle-like device and activates the drive wheel. As the pipes tighten, the bearing disappears inside. The worker inserts a steel shaft into each 20-foot pipe. He caps the ends to secure the shafts inside the pipes. This wider pipe is called the column pipe. An employee attaches an assembly flange to each end and secures it with bolts. A worker connects a suction bell to one of the shafts. The suction bell will draw the well water into the pump. Then he slides an impeller into place. He secures the impeller to the shaft with a tapered clamp called a collet. He encases the impeller in an iron diffuser bowl. He bolts the diffuser bowl to the suction bell. They add more impellers to increase the power of the water pump. A more powerful pump will be able to extract water from deeper underground. They apply protective paint to the pump and then it's ready to install.